on our way to the San Diego Zoo Safari. Are you excited for the safari, babe? Es Pumba. I've never seen a warthog before. Está chiquillo. Sabrán como el puerco. Está más bonito así como tipo Pumba, así rojo. Sí, verdad. She's so close. Oh, he's how you doing? Yeah, cool. That's fair, wait. Yeah, Carlos. It's Pumba. Tú eres Timón. Tú eres Timón. Es tu amigo. Es Timón o Simón? La colilla que tiene. Ah, sí, me la llevo. Oh, okay, I see. So pretty. Hi, baby. <laughs> What's in here? What's in here? Oh, what is? I don't know what the hell that is. No, parece. I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm sorry, dude, Rusa. but you're ugly. What is it? North Sulawesi Badrusa. Ah, Ay, qué vio, ay, qué vio. De la sombra del pájaro. Ay, come on, chamacas. He's just like chilling there. <laughs>
Get to the animals first thing. Don't lean. Look up on the left, up on the hill there. Beautiful southern white rhinos, left side of the tram. Nice little shot right there. Beautiful rhinos. You know, we've been very successful with rhinos. One of the, uh, look over here on the right, okay? It's like a tennis match. Other side, spin that head around. Got a South African cheetah lying in the grass checking you out right now. Got to be quick, people. Listen, if you were a bunch of gazelles sitting in this tram right now, you would be a late lunch right now. That cheetah was checking you out from a long time ago. Cheetahs, you know, the world's fastest land animals. I mean, just amazing cats. Capable of running at speeds of up to 70 miles per hour. Such impressive animals, you know, so big and powerful. They're fast, too. They can run. You wouldn't think it, right? They're so big and bulky. I mean, but, you know, they can, they can do about 32 miles per hour running. Not quite cheetah speed, but that is not bad. Something that big, that is flying. Horse galloping. Beautiful. These are African greater flamingos on the right, right side of the tram. Our official vision is to lead the fight against extinction. We are serious about that. Look over on the right here. This is the Nikita Khan Rhino Rescue Center. Very important facility. You can stand, okay? Anytime I stop, you're welcome to stand up. If it helps you see better, get a better camera angle, go ahead and pop up senseless because the reason that these poachers are killing so many rhinos now is because you can make money selling rhino horn as an alternative medicine or a traditional medicine but it's a ripoff it's medical quackery rhino horn is made out of keratin same protein those are gemsbach lying in the dirt there on the left check out those horns so impressive you know long straight horns there's one standing in the grass over there looks like two swords attached to the head the black and white threat mask on the face. Beautiful antelope species. Good close up here of these giraffes. Boy, giraffes are amazing. So tall. Females fully grown, about 15 feet tall. Males, 18 feet tall. Even baby giraffes, you know, baby giraffes at birth, already six feet tall. That is one big baby. One of the big advantages they get with all that height is excellent long-range vision. Giraffes can see far very, very well thanks to that height. And that's a, that's a big deal because it means the giraffe is probably going to be the first to spot a predator. Some young giraffes here. These are sable antelope near the giraffes. Those stylish horns. Look how they curve back. You know, beautiful horns. Some of the baddest dudes in all of Africa right there. Seriously, Cape Buffalo is on the short list of Africa's most dangerous animals. Reason for that is because teamwork is their key survival strategy. They are just compulsively protective of one another. You just look at one of them the wrong way and you are running the risk of being attacked by a bunch of them. Maybe all of them. Might have a whole herd coming after you. Look at that big lump in the back there, that is fat. That is an energy tank. Walk for days and days and days, no problem. Those are wildebeests. The animal's responsible for that wildebeest. Easy like that, sorry. Let's get up here, we can get a nice look at some more giraffes. We've been very successful with giraffes. We've had uh, more than 180 of them born here so far. Saw one born just a few weeks ago. That was fun to watch. Highlight of my day, six feet tall, man. Notice the two protrusions coming off the top of the head there. You see that? That's actually bone, you know, part of the skull covered by skin and fur. And they use them, that's what they hit each other with.
Santos in my kitchen. Beef? Beef are the corros. Well, I don't mind as long as they don't sting me. They won't sting me. <laughs> so I lost, I lost like 15 pounds before this vacation. I'm gonna gain those 15 pounds. <laughs> We're gonna have to get, get the gym hard, dude. Yeah. I know. Urgh! Darn you. Darn you. Like the rocks. These guys are grazers, so they have that really wide mouth. They're able to graze a lot of grass all at once. It's like lawnmowers. And they have two horns, which is different to the rhinos we'll see in Asia that just have the one. That is. Naya and Tio. Tio is the baby. He's about a year old. They look a little bit different from the southern white rhinos that we just saw. You can see that their skin has a lot of folds in it. It looks like suit of armor. It's about an inch and a half thick. It's a lot thicker than the other rhinos and it helps them um, when predators such as tigers are hunting. guys are Nilgai. They're an antelope from Asia. If you look at their feet, you can see that black and white socks they're wearing. Those are their follow me marks, so their herd's able to keep track of them. You know how soccer players keep uh, wear those striped socks so they know what their teammates are? It's the same kind of thing. They're one of the largest antelopes in Asia. bite very hard. I'm gonna lose a finger. <laughs> They're the last true wild horse in the world. <laughs> they live in Mongolia and southern Russia. They're a lot more stout. They're shorter legs, thicker bodies than domestic horses because they live in such cold environments. During the winter they grow really thick fluffy coats and they shed them in the summer. If you look at their white around their mouth, that's a warning saying I have teeth and I will use it. He's going up to mouth to say hi. They're a couple thousand pounds. Cattle, these are domestic cattle and they live in Africa. They're used as a status symbol, kind of like the Texas Longhorn. The longer the horns, the more status you have in the community as the owner of these uh, cows. Floating lanterns? Huh? Floating lanterns? Yeah, those are. No, no, no. Oh, shit. That would have. The fireflies. Oh, yeah. That's a big ship! <laughs> That's a huge bitch. <laughs> That's a huge bitch. Pobre loco, no te puedo llevar a ningún lado. Quieres andar suicidando. Por eso no te saco. ¿Ves? We're gonna go whale watching. Are you excited to see? Damn. Sir, your car is broken. Let's turn the line back so we can get the... Where's the line? Huh? You can always get a line. Oh! Wait, wait! Yeah. Uh, this is my 
second time. What? That's huge. Just wait and then your left, please. Oh, thank you. Hello, <laughs> and what about the dolphins? También. You ready to watch the hell out of them? The hell out of them? Fuck out of them, though. Stored under all of the fences on the outside of the boat, underneath the main stairway that you came up when you boarded the vessel, also beneath, also beneath that back stairway coming up from the outer back. I'll tell you a little bit about the history. And the recorded history of San Diego, California. So these whales are uh, very close to where we left some whales this morning, so this might be the pair that was up here this morning. Uh, now, so that, uh, remember when we saw that whale in the bay, how it was off the side of the boat? You don't have to rush up to the bow of the boat to see what we're going to see. I put the viewing off to one side or the other. Everybody on the boat doesn't sit in the back. So I generally try and have us looking with the sun behind us, so we're not looking into the glare. Because these are wild animals and most of the time they don't listen to me, I can't guarantee. Okay, dolphins are over here to the left of the bow of the boat. They'll be coming in from the left-hand side. That's where the main body of uh, what I've been seeing is. We're just about going to drive through the middle of it right the now. It's going to be on both uh, right like and left-hand sides of the boat. These little like me, little dolphins. nauseous me. Hi. <laughs>
I play it with you. Mm. Okay, it's not that cold. It's not that cold. <laughs> Why do you look like you're in pain? <laughs> no, it's not, babe. I was so real. Sí, en la callecita, así como cuando vivía en México. No seas payaso, México. Me México. 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 Mira, este es el puente que une el oriente con el poniente. Strawberry cheesecake and yeah, chocolate yeah. chip cookie dough. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Our California vacation has come to an end. Far from me. Me? I don't buy it. <laughs> you don't wanna leave? You wanna come live here? You wanna be a Californian? <laughs> We are freaking red. Well, I am freaking red.